important force of all, the cement that holds everything together, is there being ashamed of having an opinion of their own. He who taught it was crucified. He will come and his name will be the man God. The God man. The man God. That's the difference. struck him in the face. You tell me everything, and if it is true, I will kill you here on the spot. Something, for I've cheered you up on your way. Huh. Be off! Ah, you'll change your mind. It's very easy to ill treat the helpless. It must be all the life in the same place, and that place is a bit gloomy. Are you, are you ready? You won't regret it and torment with tears and curses, will you? It all seems incredible to me. I lived for 40 years in those mountains. What are you that I should go with you? I must sit on a mountain with him for 40 years on end. A pretty story. No. Are you sure you're all ready? No! I am afraid of informers. No! No, no. 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 possibly the informers among us. Oh. No. no! No! If so, I've compromised myself more than anyone. Debauchery. Huge, abject, disgusting, monstrous debauchery is absolutely necessary. What about our business? The appointed time is approaching, in a certain sense. It's not an agreement, it's not an obligation. I didn't bind myself in any way. It's a mistake on your part. Listen, what this you're doing? <laughs> I dislike you very much, of that you can be sure. It is your first duty to understand that you are on a polite visit to Mr. Kirillov, whose boots you will clean one day, because beside you, he is a man of culture, and you're a fool. Her name was Matryosha. This little girl used to wait on me and tidy up after me behind the screens. She had blonde hair and an ordinary freckled face. But as much in it that was childish and quiet, extraordinary quiet. But you are fully convinced that you it was a phantom? Jekyll, a convict, a robber who escaped from prison. I gave him all I had, everything in my wallet. And I'm sure I've given that to him on account. God save you from your demons. Uh, a fine demon is simply a little nasty, scrofulous imp. With a cold in his head. One of the unsuccessful ones. I always fancied that you would take me to some place where there was this huge, wicked spider, big as a man. And we should spend our lives looking at it and being afraid of it. What a love fire. Well, have they been murdered? Burned? 
murdered, but not burned. That's trouble. Okay, calm down. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's only because I thought you were far from being a scoundrel and were perhaps much better than any other Blackbird! You know, if you, if you consider to sit down and have some tea, for instance, you know, tea picks one up so, doesn't it? Uh, you, you'll, you'll have to wait outside. I can't receive you right now. And my wife has come back to me. I only have to give you but a message. You have in your possession a printing press that does not belong to you, which you are bound to give an account. I receive instructions that you return it tomorrow, 7 p.m. That is all we have asked of you. That's all? Absolutely. Your request is granted, and you are struck off our list. So how could I wake you, Marie? <laughs> oh, Marie, you're, you're very ill, but it could be very serious, Marie. You must see what has begun. What, 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 what begun? Surely you must see. I am in the agonies of childbirth. <laughs> Cursing before you have born this child! <laughs> but why didn't you say something before? How could I have told you when I came in here? Man must be physically changed or die. If it lasted more than five seconds, the soul could not endure it and would perish. In those five seconds, I live through lifetime and I will give my whole life for them. And there's nothing grander in the world. So you come to me. More closer. What, what should we call it? What should we call him? Ivan, after you. Ivan! How could you suppose we call him by any other hateful name? You bought him a follower because he thought I might suit you! But I. I. I, I can't. I. I can't. That's enough now, it's your later game. I won't write that I killed Shadow. I won't write anything. You won't have a document. If I could force you to do it, I would. No one is to blame. I did it myself. Beside that lay a hammer, a piece of soap and a large nail. The bullet went through. The right temple came out on the other side. Shattered the skull. Splashes of blood and breath. Instantaneous. At the inquest, the doctors absolutely and emphatically rejected all idea of insanity. <laughs>